So there's an enormous need uh, for genetic counselors in the world. There's big data. Uh, that we're generating more genetic information from research, from clinical care. And really the bottleneck is delivering this information appropriately to patients so we can help them. We are perfectly positioned at this point at Baylor to build what I hope to be the best genetic counseling program in the world. You know, anytime a new program starts, you can imagine as a potential student, you're going to ask, why would I go somewhere where there isn't an established program? Well, I think we have the, the basis for offering types of training and experiences that are not available elsewhere. We cross so many different specialties and activities from basic research to clinical care in the prenatal, pediatric, and adult settings, as well as even opportunities to train abroad. There are so many opportunities for students to interface with our faculty and our staff that it's almost like a kid in a candy store. Um, it's perhaps the most difficult task will be determining where are the best opportunities as opposed to where are the opportunities. When I recruit individuals at any level of training to, to Baylor, it really is recruiting them first to the Texas Medical Center, which is this macrocosm of, of amazing institutions and collaborators. There's someone who knows something about everything here. Well, the Texas Medical Center is a rather remarkable place when you look at its size and its breadth of services and how genetics and genomics is integrated, as well as the Department of Molecular and Human Genetics having uh, for decades now been well-respected nationally and internationally. We train graduate students, uh, we train postdoctoral fellows, we are probably the largest training program for physician and physician scientists in medical genetics. I think the idea of adding genetic counseling, uh, which is a pillar in the practice of genetics to our program, really excites me.